What is going on guys? Triple C Gaming here and I am back with EA Sports UFC 3. I'm getting some matches in here with Tyron Woodley. Thanks to this guy for the bow and the glove touch. Appreciate that. And this, these fights are here. These couple fights I'm going to show off here are ranked fights. Decided to do some jump into ranked. And as anyone that plays ranked and non-ranked, you guys know that ranked is, for the most part, usually a way different beast than playing non-ranked. You're playing, uh, for the most part, better players. You run, in, you can run in some really great players in non-ranked too. Good, I have. But yeah, usually when you play ranked and you, you know, you're up at a certain level with a skill point, you're going to run into pretty solid players that know that at least understand the game pretty decently. And yeah, here we're facing Usman, and Usman recently got a buff a while back where his stand-up got a nice, nice buff, and he's solid on the feet now. Before, he, he's more than solid, I would say. He's pretty good on the feet. Before, he was not so much, but after that buff, yeah, definitely helped. And I don't know if I've ever used Tyron Woodley before, to be honest. I might have, but it might have been a long time ago, and I know he's like kind of the OP guy in this division. His stats are amazing for the most part. But there's just something about him for me that just felt kind of weird to get used to. And as you see, I land the leg kick there. I'm going to make sure to try to land leg kicks. Because Willie does have attack to base level 2. There's another one there. But you got to be careful with close range on those leg kicks. You don't get punched. Catch it. I've been throwing that combo a lot lately. The jab, jab, straight right, left hook. It's a nice little combo to throw. You can use a jab, jab to close the distance. And then the straight right. And then hit it with the left hook afterwards. Beautiful job by him. He did a nice duck straight right lead up or cut counter on me. Didn't really take that much damage, surprisingly. But yeah, this guy right here was really good. He, he definitely knew what he was doing. I was worried about him just eventually he was going to start trying to grapple me. Because, I mean, it's Usman, you know. I know Usman has better stand-up, but at the end of the day, you know, his bread and butter is usually grappling. But yeah, I could immediately tell when I played this guy, you know, within the first minute or so, like, okay, this, this guy's good. He knows what's up. I got to be careful. Trying to, and oh, the one bad thing about Woodley, too, I'm sorry, I want to keep talking about his stats here a little bit, is his stamina is really poor. His stand-up stamina and grappling stamina, I think one's like an 87 and one's an 89 or something like that. And I have no idea why he has such poor stamina. Like, I don't recall him ever gassed in any fights, so I don't know why his, his stamina is really bad. I mean, that's considered terrible for Tyron, who's pretty much the, the you know the elite fighter in this division. That's, that's those are horrible stats right there. And I am the champion here, but I always uh, don't put my champ champ shorts on unless it's a title fight. And unfortunately, both matches I play here are non-title matches. Get out the way if he strikes there. Make a miss there. And yeah, this was a very even round so far. And man, I did, I did very amateurish mistake there with Badly on that overhand. I blocked his leg kick, and I was trying to get that free strike in, but I was too... Woodley doesn't have the longest reach in that straight. Just missed him. Bow's at me. We give him the bow back. Look at these stats, guys. That does not get any more... I mean, look at that. That's... It doesn't get any closer than that. I mean, those stats were practically dead even. I landed a few more six strikes. Other than that, we threw the same number of strikes and landed the same number. That's crazy. So I figured it was time to get busy here. I'm not much of a pressure fighter, but I thought, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna put a little heat on this guy. She see me walking him down right there, hit him with that uppercut. Because I am Tyron, you know, like I said, he has the power. I knew we thought the leg kick or body kick would be coming, hit him with the head kick. I should have thrown a big counter. I don't know why I didn't throw an overhand at him right there. I would have blasted him with it when he missed that kick. There we go. But we get that rock there off that left hook. And here I'm like, you know what? Pressure time. Let's go. Let's, let's, let's make him uncomfortable here. Rock him again. Keeping my strike short. And there we go. We drop him with that head kick. Nice body kick there. And see, I'm throwing a lot of strikes, but I'm not throwing anything too crazy. And on top of that, I'm not whiffing on anything. So you see my stamina is still staying pretty high despite me throwing a lot of strikes. You know, that's the big thing is you don't want strikes to be missing. And especially big strikes like head kicks, overhands, hooks. And then, uh, see, I, made, I whiffed there. He backed away enough there. But look at my stamina. It's still pretty good because all the strikes I just threw at him, I'm still throwing. We rock him again because I see his head health. And even like I said, I know Usman in hand, he does a nice duck. Drop him again. 
and I, I really expected him to start grappling, but he actually never grapples me for some reason. I would have definitely switched it up and tried to grapple. Or at least do a mixture of striking and grappling with Usman, but he never did. I know those are, I think it's coming up here. There's a certain point where I thought, okay, I, I've won the round. I, I'm up. I dropped him twice. Let's hang back a little bit and not waste too much stamina here. I remember thinking that. See when I start doing it. Yeah, I think it was right here. I thought, okay, hang back. You've won the round. Don't risk getting rocked or, you know, doing something stupid. He has to come to you now. But yeah, we put a, I put a ton of pressure on him. And like I said, that is usually not my style, but felt like I needed to do it after that first round. Yeah, this guy, he played he played similar to me, I think. I mean, he, he had a good style. He played really well. Picked his strikes well. Used feints, like right there. Used good head movement as well, too. I was timing him there. I was waiting to land that uppercut. And man, he gets out the way of my uppercut there. Every time I rock him, I try to go for it. He ends up moving his head out the way where I miss. He tried to land that overhand at the end, but my jab interrupted. One of the very few times the jab interrupts the overhand. You have to interrupt that very early on in the animation because there's times where I hit people with the jab or the straight and they just eat it and their overhand comes crashing down on me. You have to catch it right at the startup, which I guess we did right there. But here we go, round three. That first round was extremely close, and you can make an argument for him too, but like I felt like just those few extra six trucks I landed, or his mind and man, his head health is jacked. There's another rock right there off one hook, so I know his head health is pretty bad. Man, good job by him. Good movement there to get out the way. Mm. Hit him with another hook there. And I think Woodley has, I think, wait, does he have heavy hands level four? I'm not sure if he has heavy hands. He might have an overhand thing. He might have heavy hands too. Man, he gets out the way again. Very nice. And his head health is just destroyed at this point, though. He, he, anything I hit him with is just rocking him left and right now. Ooh, nice overhand by him there. See, he did a good job slipping my punch, but I hit him with the, another one, and that was enough to rock him. I mean, look at his head health right there. It's so low. It's it's next to nothing, and I cannot close the show here. And I'm like, come on. I got to get this finish here. But, yeah, I know I'm definitely winning the fight now because I know I won the second round huge, and this one I've, I've won big time, too, with all the rocks. I think a takedown just to give him th something to think about. I wasn't really interested in taking him down. And I just get caught cold with a head kick there. I don't know what happened. I, I don't know if I just didn't see it coming or I tried to thought I would duck it and it was too slow. But yeah. Yeah, he, he did a very weird pick though. Picking Usman and decided to do nothing but just stand up and not even attempt a single takedown or clinch. Double jab rocks him. I was trying to hope him bring his hands down with those two body hooks or make him throw something to catch him in the vulnerability, but he didn't. He didn't bite on it. He knows what's up. I mean, look at that. Another rock. And look at that. He gets out the way of my big overhand. That would have just destroyed him. He gets, he's gotten out of everything. I'm just like, dang, man. I cannot close this show. He's going to... Looks like he might survive here. See if we can get this finished, though. And, man, nice job by him. He gets a rock on me. I wasn't too nervous about it. Just more like, dang, I can't believe I got caught there. Putting a little pressure on us. We duck under his jab there. Yeah, I've been liking that combo too. Jab, lead, hook. And then I'll just do that once in a while. But then every once in a while, I'll put the straight right behind it too. I think I meant to throw an uppercut there, not a head kick. Let's get out the way of his uh, punch there. I think it was a jab or straight. I couldn't tell which one. He's trying. Slip his overhand, and that's going to end the fight. Man, props to him. He, he tried to go for it at the end there. He really did. He went. He did a good effort there. 
But I knew that was our fight. Also, we won the fight. Props to him, though. I like the way this guy played. You know, if he would have been using a striker, I might have had more problems. Like I said, Usman is, is good on the feet, though. You can use him on the feet for sure. But as we look at the final stats here, I threw a lot more strikes than he did. Didn't land too many more. But look at that. Five rocks in the third round. And also on top of the four, I got in the second round. Nine rocks total. Crazy. Two knockdowns. But we couldn't get the finish. And this fight right here, we're facing Donald Cerrone. I mean, let me tell you guys something. Cerrone is actually really, really good in this game. Like, people don't understand that. He has two bad things about him. One is his chin is only like an 86. And I didn't know this one until I looked it up afterwards, which I wish I would have known, is his body health is only an 80. That's the lowest that you can have, I believe, in this game. There might be, like, CM Punk might have, like, 79 in something, but, like, 80 is pretty much the lowest of the low for the other fighters. And I didn't know his body health was so bad. Otherwise, I would have attacked him more. I remember that from next time I ran to a Cerrone player. But Cerrone has crazy perks, crazy stats on the feet and on the ground. Butcher perk, his kicks, he has headhunter. And yeah, with Cerrone here, I immediately took him down because I wanted to let him know. If, I wanted to try to discourage him from throwing kicks. Basically let him know like, hey, if you're going to sit here and throw kicks at me, I'm going to go for takedowns. Just to try to discourage him a little bit. This guy is not letting me get side control. He is not having it. And this guy knew what to do, too. He knew to stay patient there and didn't immediately try to transition because he knew I was watching for it. He blocked that one. Tries to get me there. We're on top of it. Jump back in the mount. I'm hoping to block a transition here. There we go. Now we get it. Just drop a little ground and pound. Yeah, that's another thing with Tyron Woodley in this game is his top game and takedowns are excellent. Amazing. But the only thing with Cerrone you have to be extremely careful for is if he gets full guard on you. He has a triangle that's like a two-stage or maybe three-stage triangle if you hit that switch on it. The submission switch, I think, or whatever it is. It, it's a very quick triangle, basically. You do not want to get caught in that. And I don't want to drop any ground and pound from here uh, because I know Cerrone has that armbar submission. And I'm like, if I get caught in that armbar submission, I might... Uh, it's only a two-stage and I don't want to get submitted. Cerrone had, Cerrone's just a beast in this game. He has excellent submissions, excellent perks, power, ground game. Just the bad thing is his chin and his body health. He gives us a little taunts. We land a leg kick on him. Like I said, I was just trying to discourage him a little bit from, from throwing so many kicks at me. And I'm taking my time here. It's kind of weird how my stamina is like worse than his. Even though I was on top of him. Yeah, of course I'm going to land the leg kicks. But yeah, next time if you ever run into a Donald Cerrone player, attack his body. Attack that body big time. I didn't, like I said, I didn't know his body health was so poor. I'm not too sure why his body health is so bad. Well, I remember Anthony Pettis finished him with a body kick. And Dos Anjos in their second fight hurt Cerrone pretty bad to the body before finishing with strikes to the head. But those are the two instances I remember. Maybe there's more. Maybe that's why his body health is so bad. I mean, taking the Anthony Pettis body kick to the body and finishing you, that's not, doesn't mean you necessarily have a, you know, doesn't necessarily mean you're weak to the body. But see the stats there. Definitely are around because we had the takedowns and we had the control on him. Like I said, I wasn't necessarily looking to just keep grapple, 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 but I was like, if he's going to keep kicking heavy at me, I'm going to let him know I will do that. Because like I said, what makes Cerrone so dangerous is he has the butcher perk, which right there, that, that decreases your body health off kicks, and he has the headhunter perk, which does extra damage for head kicks, so you, you, it's dangerous to deal with Cerrone on the feet. And he's got those nice combos. He can do one, two, rear body kick, which Tyron Woodley can't even do. But I'm like, if he wants to throw, let's throw. Because even if I get hit here, I'm like, I think Woodley probably has the more power in his hands here. And we can get aggressive a little bit here. I'm fine with that. Let's me with that switch kick. Nice one, two by him. He throws that one, two at a lot. Ooh, that head kick almost got me. That would have been Bex. My head health was still pretty low. So it was recovering. Get out the way of his hook there, or straight. He hits me with the hook, but we hit him right back with the counter hook. He thought I was trying to take him down, I believe, and we hit him with a one-two and dropped him. 
And Cerrone has some cardio on him, man, because this guy's been throwing a little bit. I've been making a miss, right? Like right there. And just dropped him, too. When you get dropped, you lose stamina. But Cerrone's stamina is still pretty high. I'm definitely going to have to use Donald Cerrone soon. Because his stats are just too crazy. Like I said, he has great stats. Just he's, he's weak to the body and chin. Which it, those are two big reliabilities for sure, but... Another leg kick there. And Cerrone's hands look fairly fast. You know, sometimes these taller fighters, they come out a little slower. But his hand, his hand speed looks pretty good. And man, I moved into that. And I was like, come on. I should have, how did I not see that coming? We duck under his hook there. I was trying to throw an uppercut. Fortunately, the head kick came out. I must have been holding L1 or something right there. Just had a habit. Sometimes, you know. Things can get kind of tense when you're playing this game when you just get rocked. <laughs> we rock him to the leg there. So I'm feeling pretty good here. Minus me getting rocked there. Nice one two by him. Good timing on that. I was trying to return fire. And man, he hits me with another head kick. Get out the way of his strikes there. Very good defense on display here. Very good uppercut. And I let go of, you know, I'll try to do a back lunge. That little back lunge I like doing, I was trying to do that. And I got caught cold with that head kick as soon as I went to go do that. So I was just like, oh, mad at myself for that one. Should have never let that happen. Should have just kept holding block like I was. I see him aggressive, so I'm trying to time him for this. Boom. There it is. I'm not even going to jump on him and save my stamina. That was about to ring anyway. But um, that's what I was, I was trying to do. I was trying to do that to begin with. And um, as soon as I mean, I was holding high block the whole time. And as soon as I went to do it, that's when he threw that head kick. And that head kick caught me before I could even go backwards. Do that back step lunge. So here we go. Third round. See what we can do here. We rock him immediately here. And good night. And Willie's going to go ahead and jump on him there. That was a fun fight, though. That was a very fun fight. But it was a fight that I was winning. I, I made, you know, he caught me with that head kick. You know, fair game to him. But uh, we got him right there. He zigged when he should have zagged. He uh, went to he went to sway, over, sway his head over, slip his head. He should have moved it backwards. And Willie does have an overhand perk, too. There it is right here. See? He tried to slip over. And his head health was pretty beat up. So it didn't take too much to take him out. But that's Tyron Woodley, guys. Pretty good. I think I might do Donald Cerrone next. We'll see, but that's going to do it for this one. Appreciate y'all watching. Until next time, stay cool, calm, and collected. Peace.